What's up guys this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial where we are creating an ASP.NET Core CMS project with Angular 10. In this video tutorial I will show you how to implement your logs on the console using Serilog. In the last video tutorial I showed you how to output the logs onto a log file using Serilog Logger. In this video tutorial I will show you how we can log the files onto the application console in development mode. If you have watched a video where we created the logging service, you must have noticed that we added certain packages like Serilog Sync's console and Serilog settings configuration. We haven't yet used this in our application and we will be using these libraries now to implement logging onto console. So it becomes quite easy for us not to always open the files but also look at the console output and understand the errors. So first thing that we would want to do is right click on our application, go to options and then go to run and configurations. In configurations you'll find the option default. When you're in default if you have the option run in terminal pad unchecked, check it, then click OK. By doing this, when the application runs, you will see a terminal window. Now, the next thing that we want to do in our application is go to the program file. Now, in the program file, all we need to do is add another method or call another method, which is write to console. And here, we would we have been provided with certain themes that we can use to print the output on the console window so serilog comes with uh, options that we can use so we can use the ansi console theme dot and we have the options here so let's use the first theme which is code set it to the first theme which is code and then click save now let's run our application win to see if the logs are printed onto the console. As you can see the logs are being printed onto the console. Since I'm using Visual Studio for Mac and the visual style for my IDE is set to light. If I had the Visual Studio IDE set to the dark version, I, I would be able to see these logs much clearer, clearer than what I'm seeing now. So the code uh, theme prints the text in gray. Let's try to change and see if this helps us. So let's stop our application, go back to code and change it to none. Now hit run. By changing it to none, I was able to print all the logs in a darker text, but I don't quite like this. I would want to show my errors in red, the error tags in red, the warnings in yellow, the info in green, but I don't have that option in light mode. What do I do? And I don't want to switch to the visual style dark for Visual Studio. So let's go ahead and create our own custom theme using the console theme class provided by Serilog. So to do that, what would we do? We'd go to our logging service and let's create our own custom theme like how we created the custom text formatter. And to do that, we will create two classes. So go ahead and let's create those classes. So let's add the class we'll call this class as console theme custom console theme create it we'll add another class and we'll call this as console custom console themes so custom console theme and custom console themes so we have two classes now let's go to our custom console themes class and then implement the style or the colors that we want for our text. 
So the next thing that I would want to do here is go ahead and change this class to static. And here I don't need the constructor, so I'll delete it. And then I will create a method that will return an object of type console, custom console theme. So let's go ahead and create that method. So here I have created a method that will return a object of type custom console theme. Note this method, method is static. And here inside this method, I'm returning some uh, theme with some properties. So I need to add those properties. So let's add those properties. So we have added properties like this. So we are using the object console theme style and then we are adding the required properties that we need for displaying our output. Here I'm using some ANSI code for the color of the output. So for example, if it's a text, display it using this ANSI color code. To know more about ANSI color code schemes, you can visit the following website. It's called Hiyoi's Programming Blog. I'll put the link in video description. And when you go to this blog, there are lots of options on how to use ANSI code and how to display the values of your text using these codes. So go ahead, read about it if you need more information. For now, we are going to use the following color codes uh, for our properties. And that should be it for this particular uh, class. Note that here you are seeing this error because we have not yet implemented this member in our console custom console theme. Here why I added these methods and properties, I have imported two classes which is system.collection.generic for my dictionary and using serilog sings system console.themes for console theme style object. I don't need this extra using system so I'll get rid of it. That should be it for this class. Now let's go to the custom console theme class. Here in the custom console theme class, I'm not going to get into detail, but I'm just going to provide you the code that you need and I will explain to you just in brief how to implement it. So in order to create a custom theme for Serilog, your class should inherit from console theme. And when you inherit from console theme, First, let us you add the import statement that we need, which is using system.sinks.systemconsole.themes. Next, we have to implement all the interface members or all the class members for this abstract class so that we can use it or override it in our custom theme. So here, I'm just going to add this because I have already created it. Here, I will first add the missing members or references using system.collection.generic and here I will also pass this system.io system.link and now I have applied the following references so all the errors have now gone. So this thing that you see here is how you implement the uh, custom theme. You will have to import or extend your class from the console theme class and if I go to the console theme class, you can see the members that are needed to implement this particular class. I have implemented the same members in this class. And here you can see that in my constructor, I'm trying to throw an exception if there is no styles provided. I've created a default styles object that I'm going to assign in the constructor, depending on whatever style the user has selected. If the user selects that he wants to use the custom console theme style, then we will assign that over here. So that's all you need to do in this class. And if you want to change anything like your color themes or on your console, you can do it from this class or you can create another theme by copying the static class, a static method and you can create a new theme, for, for example, Visual Studio Mac Dark. So you can create another theme over here. And that's how you can use it in your application. Now to use this custom theme, all I have to do, go back over here, go to my write2.console method and call the custom theme method that I just created. 
so let me just call this console so console so it's called custom custom console theme dot visual studio mac light and that's it our custom theme is created we don't need to do anything else now when i stop this application and i'll try to run this application again and now it will use the seri log will use our custom theme to display the logs as you can see the logs are printed i have to just scroll down and when i'm scrolling down previously we had the logs just displayed without any color scheme but now you can see that the logs are being displayed as per our color scheme as we have used in the custom console themes class for our styling so for example if it's an information that's being printed onto your console i'm using the following color scheme you can change this based on your requirement using the link that i provided for ansi codes you can research a bit more on ansi codes and you can change or try to improve this custom thing upon you totally you can edit this theme as well so now that's it for this video tutorial in this video tutorial i showed you how you can create a custom theme and how you can print your logs onto the terminal window so now let's say if there are any errors or unhandled exceptions like this we can go ahead and quickly look at our terminal to check by going to the errors and trying to debug them we don't have to go to the logs itself open the log file and then check the errors but we can also look at our terminal window and try to debug these errors so Thank you very much for watching this video tutorial. All the code that I used in this video tutorial, I will push it to my DevOps repo. The link will be provided in the video description. Please like and subscribe my channel Tech Howdy. If you have any questions, please use the comment section. Thank you so much.